for women. Think about this, everyone. And can I have a song? But guess what? <laughs> I can tell you exactly what happened. And if anybody wants to copy the speech, you probably won't get it because it's raining. <laughs> you know what? It was, may have rained during that walk from New York to Washington, D.C. It may have snowed, which I'm sure it did. And guess what? I don't know if that's bad anybody else, but I was a little bit tired coming up that hill. <laughs> but guess what? The roads weren't paved. They were rud uh, muddy, ruddy. Chickens were walking in the road. They had to put up with animals along the way. Uh, but they did that, and they did that for our right as women to vote. Yeah. From New York to New Jersey, to Delaware. They crossed into Elton, Maryland, and they picked up the soil and said, God bless Maryland soil. They sang, Maryland, my Maryland. They went through Habity Grace, Perryville, Churchville, and they finally got almost here to Overly. And they were led by uh, General Jones, Rosalie Jones. She made it into an army, so you're the army of the, of the, the crowd today. And Colonel out of France. Well, General James was a little bit more uh, energetic, so she said, I'm not staying in those. Well, out of France, who had bad feet by that, I know she's probably a year or two older, said, You know what? The gracious people of Overly asked us to stop here, and we are stopping. Well, General Jones said, We're not. So she went on into the city, but there was still a contingent of women who stayed here and respected the hospitality of the overly people. Yeah. So that is what is so very, very special about the march and, and overly. So then they continued, and eventually uh, they met up again. They, they must have uh, reconciled and met down in Hyattsville, and then they marched into Washington, D.C., the big, big, big march. 5,000 or so women were there. And this was the beginning of the cause. This was not the beginning of the cause, but this really moved the cause. But I would like to say thank you to those women who did this wonderful, wonderful walk, 250 miles. And just think, if you just think about it, you know, that was a long walk. I mean, we're huffing and puffing up this hill. <laughs> And we had the under our feet. But I would just like to say thank you to them. And uh, seven years from now, we will have the big, big, big celebration of our right to vote. So thank you all for coming out. I'm just so proud. And I'm Senator
How are you? Uh, from our county council who represents us with this area, uh, Councilman Kathy Bevitt. <laughs> Councilwoman. <laughs> Councilperson. And we have a uh, Councilperson woman, uh, Vicki Lawman. Uh, we have from the 42nd District, Delegate Sue Allman. Delegate Heather Mazier, who is all the way from Montgomery County. Yeah. Oh, your umbrella. And she is our highest ranking woman in the police department. committed to freedom, justice, and equality, and had no intention of stopping until they got the vote. But they had been fighting for the vote since 1869. It would take seven more years for Congress to pass the 19th Amendment, and yet another year for the majority of the states to ratify it. And people think Congress is slow to act these days. <laughs> Friends, it is my honor to stand sentry with you to make sure that our past gains, past gains remain the foundation for future success. Now I have reintroduced the Paycheck Fairness Act because women continue to be discriminated against economically funded. We're still at 77 cents for every dollar a man makes. The very first bill that President Lyndon Johnson introduced was to guarantee equal pay for equal work for women because he thought it was the easiest bill to pass. <laughs> well, 50 years later, we are still being redlined, sidelined, and pink slipped because we fight for equal pay for equal work. This bill would require employers to show pay disparity is related to job performance, not gender. With economic empowerment comes political power. Need I say more? Friends, I want to continue to march with you until all women can be guaranteed full access to our civil liberties. Sincerely, Barbara A. McCall. <laughs> Next, I'd like to introduce Larry Simmons from the uh, Baltimore County Executive Cabinet Cabinet Office. Good, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning ladies. Uh, county Executive Cabinet wishes that he could be here this morning. 
Uh, but just quickly, when I left home this morning, my wife said, please do not be long-winded. Uh, and so given the audience that I have, I'm, I'm going to keep to that path. Uh, the county executive and the citizens of Baltimore County have acknowledged today as women's suffrage 2013 anniversary yeah. day. It's in honor of the hard work that Facebook. you've done climbing that hill and then coming back <laughs> along the hill. But not only that, it's for the hundred years of, of women have celebrated the right to vote here in the United States, and especially in Baltimore County, and most importantly, in Oberlin. Uh, just one final thing. I have a proclamation from the county executive. I'm not going to read it to the colleagues or the other speakers. Uh, we're going to have it inside, and as you come in, please take a look. Thank you all. Thank you, Larry. And uh, next, we would like to have Councilwoman Bevin to uh, represent this district's a few words. Thank you, Senator Klausmar. Since all the details of the march have already been covered, I just want to welcome each and every one of you to Overly. Overly means over the meadows. It is such a beautiful place to live. And Doris Cole, thank you so much for organizing this event. I just feel so honored first to be an elected official and to represent this district along with Matthew Klausmar. But I feel so privileged to be here today to honor the memory of the women before us. I kept thinking about how times were different a hundred years ago and how these women would explain to their fathers, their husbands, their sons, and even their mothers that they were going on such a pilgrimage and that they would be leaving for a few weeks and they would be leaving alone. And I think they were so brave and so dedicated and so committed. And us women who are elected officials standing up here, I'm sure when these women marched for the vote, they never thought that a woman could actually be an elected, hold an elected uh, position. So I'm very grateful to those women, and again, Doris, to you and all your volunteers for bringing us here uh, to your beautiful community. Thank you, and thank everyone who came out today. Thank you so much for coming out today. Uh, the old the marchers 100 years ago didn't have an iPhone app to tell them what the weather was going to be like or give them a map on how to get here. They were taunted and jeered along the way. And today we have men who love us joining us yeah. today. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. We remember these women and we continue to fight now that we have the right to vote to make sure that we continue improving the lives of women across the state. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you for everyone coming out and bearing with the weather. What a wonderful celebration for our foremothers to come out and give us the opportunity to be elected, to serve our communities, and to have women who strive for higher offices every day. We thank you and support the act and these wonderful great place. Here with all these great, powerful women and men. 
I, I know it's been a lot of talk, but I personally just want to thank the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts that are here today. Young people, they really are. They're really, 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 really making a big difference. I'm very grateful to be a part of it. And thank, I thank our, our, dress, uh, our dress models as well. Yay! One more thing. Doris thinks she's going to close to introduce the singers, but I'm not going to let her do that. Um, with Al Doris Pulling and Charlie Davis, Charlie found it and then brought the idea to, to Doris, we would not be standing here. So there's always one leader yeah. in every group, and it's Doris Pulling who pulled this all together. Yeah, and I just want to say thank you, and I have a citation for her here, and I'm going to, uh, it's, uh, for for the hard work and dedication that went into organizing the commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the 1913 Women's Suffrage March presented on this 23rd day of February 2013 by Senator Kathy Cosmeyer. And I'm just proud to say Doris is my friend and I would like to clone her and have her in every part of my district. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 